Have you ever wanted to wake up to your own music and possibly even to the radio from your iPhone or iPod Touch and even the iPad? Well, now I found a way because Apple does not allow you to, um, in the clock app, it does not allow you to play your own songs as a wake up alarm or even solely listen to the radio. So now I'm here to show you. Um, you can go into the App Store and search sleep, the word sleep, um, S L E E P. And it'll be the third one. As you see here, it's called I Home plus I Sleep. And I'm going to show you how you can um, wake up to your own song. And even have nice little weather up here. Um, it is free for download, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, now, to start off, you have five little tabs. You have Home, Alarms, Stats, a Catalog, and Settings. Catalog just shows... Um, different iHome products, so um, I guess that's where the, that's their way of advertising themselves and settings, which I will come into a little bit later. Now um, we're gonna go to the home and show you the layout. Um, as you see here in the top, you have your own weather. Um, you can customize your background and settings. You can do that. Um, it'll give you a little nice icon if you have um, if you have um, an alarm. Um, it'll obviously give you your time and It'll have a little um, keynote, um, music note up there. Now we're going to actually go into the alarm. Now I made up a dummy alarm bell, as I have um, two real bells for myself. We're going to go into here and just edit, um, very similar to the clock app. Now this is a nice feature that it includes. It has alarm and it has nap. I know you can't see it, but this um, on the right side it says nap. If you click nap, um, nap time. You can go into here, and it'll wake you up in so many minutes that you want. Um, this is a very, very nice feature. And we're going to go into alarm now. Um, you can change the alarm name right there. Simply tap on it. It'll come up, and you just click done when you're finished. Now the alarm time, very similar to the clock app. You just go in there and move it around, a.m., p.m., whatever you want. And 4, 7 p.m. for whatever reason. Um, repeat. You can choose never, every day, weekend, weekday, or you can go into custom and choose um, specifically what days you want. And now, right here, you have snooze time. Um, very similar, again, very similar to the clock app. Um, you just go into however many minutes you want to snooze. And you can sleep to, you can actually sleep to whatever music you want. Um, it says clear music, so if you have any music already, you can clear that. iPod library and radio. Um, for the radio, you do need um, iHome radio, which is, I believe, $199.99. Um, a review on it will be coming up soon. Um, but you can go ahead and link that up to um, sleep timer. Um, you can select however many minutes you want to your sleep time. Um, wake up, too. This is a part where um, you actually get to choose your own... Um, song. You can use a, a alarm tone, which is basically iHome's version of the dumb um, clock, clock app music. So you can actually um, go in here to click um, uh, into wake 2, and again, you can use the radio, um, no wake up no sound, or you can click iPod library, and here you can go to whatever you want, and once you have a song, you can just click on it, and then click done. Um, it'll display it right there, and then you have you can set up a a bedtime reminder and a wake up reminder. Then you have a bedtime Twitter, um, wake up Twitter, bedtime Facebook, and wake up Facebook. And you can just simply um, I don't know exactly how this works so far, but um, I think it'll notify you on your Facebook that you've woken up or something. I don't know something similar to that. I think, but for that you have to go into settings. Okay, and then now, once you have your alarm fully configured, you can click Done. And now we're going to go into Settings to show you how to configure the Facebook. And then you can go into Accounts. I'm sorry. Um, you can go into Accounts. And you can just go into here and set up your username or your passwords for Twitter and then Facebook. You click on Connect, and it'll show you a prompt. You just log in and accept the things. And then that's simply how you add the account for weather, very similar to the weather app. Um, units, it'll let you choose degrees Fahrenheit, degrees uh, Celsius, 
Um, you can turn it, you can toggle it on and off. Um, but I'd preferably leave it on. And then right here, you can go ahead and choose your setting and add that for the weather. And then messages. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, but yeah. Then you have a bedtime dimmer. Then right here, you can change your your background. Um, you can choose from your own um from your own pictures or it has a bunch in there. And then right here it just gives you app enabled devices such as iHome Docs and such and things like that. And then you have clear stats. Um you can clear the stats, do whatever you want. And yeah guys, um this is free like I said. So if I were you I'd go get the steel right now. Um it is free and no advertising the only advertising it has is 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 in catalog. It'll it'll give you these. But those are the only only advertisements. So yeah guys, um this is how you do it on an unjailbroken device and jailbroken if you want to. And yeah, guys, I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.